The younger generation makes errors in the episode of 9 to 1 1. Lone Star that airs tonight. This is a natural aspect of maturing. Not only do individuals make mistakes, but they also gain crucial lessons from those missteps. Yet, Damon's mistake was quite significant. It was his automobile that broke down on him. It was imperative that he make his way to the hospital. On that particular day, his older brother Remy was supposed to have a transplant. Damon's ambition was to be present when his brother awoke, and it was precisely at that moment that he conceived of this brilliant plan. He noticed a train in the vicinity. He made the decision to take it since he was under the impression that it would be more expedient than taking an Uber. Further, it would be less expensive. Damon did not intend to attend college. When it came to pleasures, he did not have any money left over. In addition, he was unaware that boarding that train would turn out to be the biggest mistake of his entire life. During the time when the train was traveling, Damon was a passenger aboard it. A train derailed and fell off the tracks. What followed was a massive explosion. He was engulfed in combustible liquid that was making its way through the vessel. No one knows what happened to Damon during the derailment. It is impossible to know. A great number of people were killed. Additionally, the train was transporting hazardous materials. A woman sustained severe burns as a result of the incident. She was able to crawl to a local school, where she terrified a young kid to death. She was successful in her mission. It was beyond the capabilities of the 126th to deal with the derailment. A large number of firefighters from different parts of the city came to assist in the rescue efforts following the tragedy. It appeared to be a typical day up until the point where the train derailed. One of Wyatt's stops was at the firehouse. He wanted Owen to be aware that his father is interested in returning to his previous position, and Owen was truthful with the child. Apparently, he was unable to reinstate Judd in his position. She retired Judd, he had been absent for more than a year. His pension was already being used by him at that point. There was no way he could just go back in, as if nothing had occurred. For Owen to be able to get Judd back on AFT, he would have needed to pull some significant strings. It would also not be fair to the individuals who were competing to fill the position that Judd had previously held. Marjan and Paul were both interested in playing the role of lieutenant. They had been competing with one another for a number of months. The time limit that Owen had set for naming someone had arrived. Along with Matteo, he went through many scenarios. It was important to him to avoid the person who would be the least difficult to disappoint, which was a little bit frank and unfeeling. As Matteo put it, he said, in any way, shape or form, he did not have any issues with it. Simply put, Matteo stated that it was very, very Thanos of him. Matteo was the one who suggested that Owen use the lieutenant's test as a means of selecting his next lieutenant. Furthermore, it is terrible that both Marjan and Paul received the exact same score. This was a first in the history of the AFD. In the history of Austin, their tie was the highest possible score on the test. Additionally, it put the ball back in Owen's court, which was something that he detested. It was difficult for him to choose between two wonderful individuals. Soon after the derailment, Owen's day began to go from bad to worse. Regarding Tommy, the same is true. Specifically, Tommy desired to wade Trevor. They have been in a relationship for some time. Each other is loved by them. They have a deep affection for one another's children. Everything went swimmingly when Tommy asked Trevor to marry her, and Trevor accepted his proposal. The fact that it was subject to certain conditions was a drawback. Prior to Trevor's ability to remarry, he must first obtain the consent of his previous spouse. In order for them to get a divorce, this was one of the criteria. The divorce was not contentious. Melody, Trevor's daughter, was permitted to relocate to Austin from their previous residence. He is now co-parenting with his ex-partner over the distance. That does not bother either of them. His former partner's name is Cassandra. One rule was all that Cassandra had to follow. She is required to not only meet, but also give her approval to a woman before she will give her permission for Trevor to marry her. The divorce was not filed by Tommy herself. She had lost her husband. Up until the point where it came to her children, she believed Cassandra's conditions were strange, if not not unacceptable. It wasn't only that Cassandra wanted to pass judgment on Tommy. However, she was also interested in questioning Tommy's children. For Tommy, it was an excessively severe step. It would have been different if she were the only one who had to interact with this woman. There was no way that she would allow her children to be subjected to an investigation. It was contrary to her natural inclinations as a mother. On the off chance that Tommy was forced to select between her daughters and Trevor, she would go with her children. Her children were always the ones she chose. It was never her intention to force them to meet a complete stranger. 
and now she is forced to examine herself whether or not the relationship she has with Trevor can continue to be successful even if they do not get married. She is not able to retract a proposition, that much is clear. She inquired of him. He responded with a yes. While that ought to have been the end of it, it didn't. Additionally, Judd came to the realization that he desired to return to his previous position. His pride was going to prevent him from going to Owen, and he was going to show it. Additionally, he was determined to pursue a career in trucking after his new boss informed him that he would be ideal for holding across vast distances. Initially, Judd was not interested in accepting the position. Missionary work took his wife to a different part of the world. Up until his wife returned, he was responsible for the upbringing of their daughter Charlie all by himself. Leaving his daughter alone for extended periods of time was something he dreaded doing. It was during this conversation that Wyatt informed him that the previous job had been eliminated. He had even called Wyatt to discuss his strategy for getting in touch with Owen. The fact that Wyatt had already attempted to retrieve it meant that there was no way to do so. Judd was left with no other option. He was forced to come to terms with the fact that he would no longer be a firefighter. When the derailment occurred, he made the decision to accept the trucking job on the job. Due to the fact that the engineer on board choked on a sandwich, this incident occurred. During the collision, he did not sustain any injuries at all. The paramedics were able to save his life while he was still choking while eating the sandwich. Following his return to a state of consciousness, they were able to obtain the manifest for the freighter train from him. Additionally, they removed all people from the region. Or at the very least, they attempted to achieve that. Owen instructed a reporter from the news crew to leave the site. It was a cameraman who was with her. It was a little too close to the flames for their comfort. According to Owen, it was not safe for them to be in such close proximity to one another. They were expelled by him. The reporter played the role of a listener. It was just she who waited until they had left before returning to the fire without any further stopping. As a result, she did not want to miss the most catastrophic event of the year, which was her words. In addition to that, she desired remarkable photographs of the firefighters saving folks. It was necessary for Matteo to crawl through a narrow gap in order to rescue a man who was confined within his vehicle. To save the man's life, Matteo was forced to conduct surgery while he was out in the field. That is what he did. He was successful in removing Franklin from that location. And moreover, he returned the unicorn that Franklin's daughter had given to him as a token of good luck. A camera was used by the reporter to capture that moment. Additionally present at the time that everything went wrong was the news camera. An explosion occurred in the propane tank as a result of the water supply being turned off. There were a great number of people in the vicinity of the explosion site, and it is impossible to determine whether or not they survived. In addition, nobody was aware of Damon, 